We're seeing an interesting dynamic in the U.S. oil industry right now. Even though our oil companies have been slashing their capital expenditure budgets, most of them are still planning to increase their production this year, in many cases because they simply need the cash. So what do we do with a company like Flotech, FTK, in a moment like this? Flotech makes proprietary, environmentally friendly chemicals, that's important, that are used at nearly every stage of the oil and gas extraction process from drilling to production. They've engineered a complex nanofluid that, that boosts the performance of oil wells and hydraulic fracturing while making the whole process more efficient. On top of that, Flotech is drilling technologies business. And the company has a small consumer and industrial division where they make citrus-based chemicals for the flavor, fragrance, and cleaning markets. Oh, oh and there's citrus and Flotech's fracturing chemicals, too. I, I know some are joking that they make, make them tastier, but no, I've had fracking fluids, not tasty at all. Now, like the rest of the oil service industry, Flotech has seen its stock get crushed. $32 in the summer, down to $17 today. That said, the company reported some robust results in late June, late January, with its energy, chem chemical technologies, production technologies, and even its drilling segment up versus the previous quarter. No oil companies I know had that. The oil market may be in dire shape here. But as long as U.S. oil companies plan on growing their production this year, can they afford to go without Flotex technology? Let's drill down with John Chisholm. He's the chairman, president, and CEO of Flotex Industries to learn more about his company's prospects and the overall backdrop. Mr. Chisholm, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank you, Jim. Good to see you, sir. It's great to be back. John, there's a bit of a paradox here in that of the companies I follow, most of them had real bad fourth quarters because it included the, the, the incredible decline. Your company is making it so that you're going to see up production numbers, even if you're drilling less. A and I, yet your stock got hit as if it was some sort of wildcat company. You're correct. It puzzled us as well. Um, as I was on the show last time, we said we have a very consistent message. Whether the price of oil is at $100 a barrel or 50 you need to be able to use the right technology at the right time to be able to get the most oil out of a well. And so we did have a record quarter, but people paid attention to that for all of about 15 seconds and wanted to move on to 2015. Well, if let's say the rig count is cut down dramatically. We talked to Simrex. Simrex is only operating six down from 20. I mean, that means fewer holes, which means less float. There's no doubt about that that is what happens when there's less wells drilled. Right. We still have such a market penetration opportunity. We're, the people use our product on only about 10% of the wells, so we still have the ability to penetrate more of that market, even though there's less activity. You have some statistics in your package which basically show that there's a dramatic amount of oil left in the ground unless you use Flowtech. No, that's exactly right. Now we have data of over 80,000 wells. That's public data from state production information and also frac focus where the operators have to provide their completion data into right. this consortium. And the empirical data shows that you're going to leave a lot of oil in the ground if you don't use the best technology, in this case, the complex nanofluid, to get it out. Now, one of the things I did say, I, I know you said that you just scratched the surface, but it seemed like m many of the majors are already using your stuff. Does it mean that they have to use it in more wells? Because you, the, the client list in here is pretty much all the big guys. Well, what we're trying to do is get more of them to use it. Okay. Uh, there's about 234 different operating company, Simrex being one, that uses the technology, and we're continually trying to expand that uh, every year that we have the opportunity to do that. You spent a lot of time in your presentation talking about the environment. You're one of the few people I know in this industry who recognizes that what could shut this industry down isn't demand, but the government. Well, we appreciate you noticing that. And we got a patent on our CNF product in 2003, way before folks were concerned about the environment. In fact, we just pumped it in wells in California that I'm pretty sure if it was not environmentally sensitive, they wouldn't have pumped that product in California. And describe it. I mean, this is citrus you're talking about, which is more effective than a lot of other surfactants that people should be worried about. That's exactly right. It comes from orange peels. And I know to your viewers, they're thinking, how in the world does that work? But delimonene comes from an orange peel, and it's a solvent. So it helps open up those pores inside the hard rock to allow that oil to get out, and that's the way you're able to increase production. All right. We heard today that there might be an emergency OPEC meeting. Nigeria wants to call it. I mean, I, I know you don't have to care what prices you said that, but do you think we're going to have a U bottom, a V bottom, or just it's just going to go on and we don't know? Well, our data shows us on all the wells that we've attributed to FracMax that the decline is going to occur faster than what people believe it thing. is. This is what I know that you know more than anyone. <laughs> well, thank you for saying that. But we believe that they're going to flatten out sooner. They're going to decline sooner. And I think a couple of the folks you've had on here, Dave Dempshire from Core Lab, feels that way. Yes, he does. Sheffield from Pioneer feels yes, that way. Yes, he does. So we're kind of 
on the view that towards the end of the summer, early fall, you'll see some stability, but activity always trails the pricing by about a quarter. So this is a 2015 thing we're still in the middle of, for sure. Well, I'll tell you, you uh, your stuff is terrific, and I, your stock should not have fallen like the others. But you know what? It's a difficult market, and people sort through the rubble after, and that's what they're beginning to do. Well, we appreciate you saying that. Absolutely. That's John Chisholm. He's the chairman, president, and CEO of Flowtech Industries, a technology company that happens to be in the oil business. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.